Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's vlog, we are going to do a walkthrough of our place and we're also gonna show you guys before footage and images, right? Yeah, this will be kind of a before after tour. We'll show you guys everything that we've done, what it looked like before and some details on a lot of the furniture. Yes, and instead of like an empty house tour, because we were never really here when it was fully empty because of like the remodel and everything, and then we ordered our furniture before the remodel was done, whatever. So this is kind of in place of an empty house tour, but it's obviously not empty. We've been decorating it for the past like two and a half weeks. Yep. So the state that it's currently in is not fully decorated. I also feel like decorating... Maybe. Yeah, I feel like decorating a house literally can last forever, especially if you love decorating That's like how we, we do. do it. Yeah. So always changing stuff out. So. Yes. So this isn't complete, but it definitely we're so happy with where it's at. There's more to come, so follow along for that journey. But it will be really fun to show you guys the befores and what it's gotten to now. For sure. And if you missed it, this is our new place in Lake Tahoe. We still live part-time in Southern California. Yes. So this is just a new house for us. There's a whole update for on it though, a few videos back. So yeah. if you want to catch up on everything, yes. that's where it's at. Yes, but we're so excited. This was our first remodel project, yeah. something that we've dreamed of doing for so many years. And we had so much fun with it. We are seriously obsessed with how it turned out. So we can't wait to share all the details and all the fun stuff with you guys. Yeah, so let's go start in the entryway. Okay, this is the first floor, our little mud room. Before this used to have like little pebble rock, almost like concrete style floor, which is great for our mud room, but it wasn't really the aesthetic that we liked. So we replaced it with this tile that is like this nice creamy white color and then sort of like a butter yellow beige color which you guys know I love and this tile is supposed to be like uneven and a little like artsy looking so we love that and then we just put this little rug we might have to get a bigger rug this space is like kind of an awkward shape so we aren't 100% sure on what the best size rug is yet but we also wanted like a little bit of storage in this room so we have this little like dresser situation that we're gonna put some stuff in and then we have not styled this actually at all yet but we want to make this really cute in here so I don't know maybe even putting like wallpaper on this wall or something would be cute we want to hang the mirror I think we have a different lamp that we're gonna put here books flowers you know all the all the fun little knickknacks and then there's just a little storage closet here and then we replace this light right yep that's a new light and all of the doors throughout got replaced as well with new door hardware yes. and new uh, door trim. Yeah, so the entryway, small but effective. Yes, and then we'll go upstairs. We put these new handrails in and we painted these our trim color. And then we also redid the floors. The stairs used to be carpet. And then this is the same light. Yep. So we redid the floors. These are engineered hardwood, I believe. And then we'll come up to the bedroom floor. We'll start with the least developed. This is our catch-all room right now. Yes. Just like so closet space, pretty much. We're going to turn this. I think we talked about it in the other vlogs. We were trying to decide which room to be like a closet room because I have way too many clothes for the closet space that it already exists in this house. So we're gonna turn this into like a work closet room with like a little beauty desk where it can film and do that kind of stuff and then store a bunch of things. So obviously we haven't fully developed what that's gonna look like yet or executed it, but we have decided at least. Yeah. These are our closets. I mean, it's just kind of a mess. Yeah, right this one's a mess for sure. But we added like the built-in storage in here, which is really nice. It will help maximize the little closets. We love that. And then, this is a little linen closet. Just a little storage space, which is really nice. It's so cute, it's so small. Door is nice and skinny, it is cute, huh? So we haven't organized this either, don't judge us, but this was really nice to have. Not much to detail there. And then we need to get a handle for this. So it's kind it's of- It's only a little handle, yep. So this is our washer dryer, which is so nice that we have it in the unit. It literally, oh, I was gonna say it like barely fits, but there's a lot yeah. of there. So that's perfect. And then here is the guest bedroom. We worked on getting this put together the other day and we are obsessed with how it turned out. So we still have a lot of like decorating and styling that we wanna do in here as well, but we could only really fit like a full size bed so that we could get nightstands and it wasn't too tight over here. So it is kind of small, but it works. 
and I'll try to detail in the description box maybe like where we got a bunch of this stuff. I know our bedspread is parachute. The linens are magic linen, or the sheets are magic linen. And the pillow cases are from Danielle Oki. Okay. And okay. then the inserts are from Amazon. Do you remember where these nightstands are from? I want to say those are like Wayfair or something. Okay. Something like that. I want to replace the knobs on these. Maybe yeah, that would be really cute. Or something. And then we're going to do wireless. Yeah, so bulbs. these aren't actually hardwired, though they need to have some controllable light bulb in them. And we didn't want to have a cord coming down. So they need a light bulb that can either be controlled by a remote or touch or something like that it'll be battery powered yes and yeah maybe some like little art i really like love the idea of wallpaper in this house so maybe some wallpaper somewhere i kind of want to put like a little chair in this corner who knows exactly what we'll do but basically before this was like this really cute colored yellow bedroom it was a nice yellow <laughs> that i loved but it wasn't the most practical like i might film in this room and stuff so just like a nice solid color yeah. is great which by the way the colors throughout the house on the walls is swiss coffee and i think that's by benjamin moore yes. a little bit of a like warmer toned white it's still like i really didn't want anything to be gray at all because i really don't like the color gray in my house i feel like sometimes it's still a little gray like today it's snowing yeah. so it's a little gray looking when it's um, cloudy it's gray when it's sunny it, it is very warm yeah but like maybe in the future i would even do a more yellow toned yeah. white because i think i just really like that it's like a little gray tone it's still a little gray yeah like i love it i'm really happy with it but i i feel like you learn a lot when you do paint because that was one thing that we actually had a designer help us on because we were so overwhelmed by all the white paint colors and i'm really happy with her recommendation but then when you see a color like all over the house on the walls it's just so different than anything else. So I feel like yeah. it's just a, it's a good thing to be learning about the white For sure. colors. And then baseboards, the trim color, everything is also Swiss coffee, but 75%. So it's a lighter, which I actually love it's the brighter. Yeah. Yeah. I so actually love that tone of it. So I would maybe even do like 75% Swiss coffee on the walls. Yeah. On the walls. So the, the 75% means that there's 25% of pure white mixed in, so it makes it a little bit more white. And then this rug is actually our old rug from our living room back home, from our previous house in Southern California, and this bedspread is Zara. Or the quilt. Quilt. Cool. Yeah, and then the floors on this floor all used to be carpet, carpet as well. Yep. It was like this bouncy, like gray carpet. It, it was reminded gross me carpet. of my house in college. It was something. And then we have this little guest bathroom here that we love this we also redid the floors in here. So these are cute little floral kind of tile situation. Cafe tile and spa kind of. Yeah. And then the cabinets were actually like this already, but we painted them and changed out the hardware. And they were actually wood and they were naughty wood. Oh, yeah. So we had the contractor putty them all in and make them smooth. And it actually turned out so good. You can never tell. No. And kind of modernized it a little bit, which we liked. It wouldn't have, I feel like if it was just painted over, it wouldn't have looked right. too good. And this is kind of like a dark, deep, bluish, grayish black. Yeah. I guess. And then we changed out all of the hardware in this bathroom as well to be this like brass, gold, whatever it's supposed to be called. Mm -hmm. And then we put this little ruggable rug in here that we love. We styled this a little bit. We put oh. a little uh, cafe curtain over there. And then the shower, we actually didn't touch. We just left it because they had re remodeled this shortly before we moved in mm -hmm. and it fit the look yeah. enough. So yeah, happy with that. I do want to take these wooden benches off. Yeah, the wooden benches, and then we're thinking about changing out these shower heads, but I've heard that that is actually more difficult than it seems. So yeah, that's, that's something on the list that we'll but I do really want take a look at. Okay, and then we'll go over to our room. There's like this little Zara home mirror here right now that we got. We don't know exactly where it's gonna go. It is a nice little mirror. It's really skinny, and we realized we could actually have like a wider mirror. So yeah. we might get a wider mirror. We're gonna get a bigger one and hang it on the wall. Okay, so we'll go over to our bedroom, which we are, we like our guest bedroom decoration. So much more right now. Yeah, way more than our bedroom right now. So we're gonna figure out how to make ours look cuter. But for now, you know, we just sleep here, it doesn't matter. But we were able to fit a king size bed in this room, which we were still- Really in. nice. And, okay, so the same situation in this room. It was just like the carpet, it was, the walls were all yeah. textured, right? Yeah, textured, a weird white color or something, or maybe it was a little gray. gray? I can't remember, yeah, yeah, I can't remember. But so we painted everything, we replaced the floors, and then our bedding, 
This is Parachute, this linen duvet cover. Our sheets are Brook Linen. They're striped, they're super cute. Our headboard is Crate and Barrel. Lulu in Georgia. Or Lulu in Georgia. It's a boucle headboard. Again, in this bedroom, I think it would be really cute maybe to like wallpaper this back wall. We need some art. We need to style our nightstands. We're also thinking, because there's not a ton of storage in these rooms, we might try to get bigger nightstands. Because once we got these in here, we were like, oh, yeah. we can go a little bit bigger. Definitely. Definitely yeah. can go bigger, actually. Yeah, so yeah. we're thinking about that. And then we need to style them and everything. It will happen. Change out the rug. So we're really just getting started in this room, but... Yeah. Figured we'd give you guys a look. Yeah. And then this is a little pocket door. That we painted. So it was there before, but it was again wood and it was naughty as well. So we filled that in. Naughty. It was a naughty, naughty bad door. wood. Bad, bad. And then this bathroom, it used to have different tile and we decided to switch it out. I love black and white tile. I think it looks so good and fun and like yeah. poppy. There's another little closet in here. So again, we added the storage in these which is really nice we need to still not very organized and yeah here. these need cut poles that we're going to be putting on we have this little ruggable rug here that we love the same thing with this vanity it was very naughty and <laughs> you can actually see on camera so it's black but it also has a green undertone and on camera right now you can really see that green I undertone. Think it's just green i don't think it's black every once in a while it's, it looks but it is very it's like it's a, just dark, a dark green. dark green and dark it's really pretty green. yeah yeah and then we changed out all the hardware so it's this brass or gold or you know whatever yeah. the the brass gold people police <laughs> want to call it no i know it's like supposed to be called brass but it looks gold so i, I call it gold but same here, we changed this out, we changed the light out. This is the mirror that we have right now, it's a little too small. We're yeah. gonna get a bigger one, but it, Clayton like carved out a hole in the wall. So it's a recessed. How cool is that? Yeah, we love that, extra storage. We love it. And we actually had that at our previous home in Southern California, and it was so nice. Was but so we, nice. we lived an entire year and a half yeah. without knowing that that was there. Yeah, one day like our cleaning people were like, did you know that this is like open? And we are like, oh my God, you just made our lives so much better. Yeah, it's nice to have storage right there. And then our shower, same thing, yep. we didn't touch this. I would love to switch out the shower head mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. if my boyfriend lets me. We will. If we, I just need to learn how or understand what's possible. And these counters were here as well. So yes. we were able to save we the counters. Change out this. Change out that. This, as well. this is a towel hook. Get and to then that. there's a little bit of storage over here too, which is super nice. You yep. have to organize everything, but this is the same color. And we love this little bathroom. Yeah, it's a nice bathroom. Yeah. A nice so ensuite. So much. Snowing super hard. Bye. Let's go, oh, also our doors. We replaced all of the doors, right? Yes. And painted them and they have this oil rubbed bronze. Yep, little door handles. And um, just a note, so we did solid, it's called solid core on all the bedrooms. So they're thicker, oh, so nice. for, noise. for noise. And then like the closet doors though are hollow core. Uh -huh. So they're cheaper and it doesn't really matter as much. Yeah. But that's something yeah. to consider when you're replacing doors. That that's solid amazing. core is nice for also, bedroom. Also a note, we worked with a friend of mine who's a designer named Chloe. Her handle is Boxwood Avenue. She is so talented and we really needed her help with like, we love decorating and we love interior decor and design and everything. We had a lot of ideas that we wanted to do ourselves, but then some things, like I said, the paint color we were super overwhelmed by and even like we wanted to replace the doors and I was like, I don't know what doors to do. Like that's mm -hmm. just a wheelhouse that I have no two cents really to yeah. say so she would like guide us on that which was super helpful i love the door she picked out even for like the yeah. hardware on the doors i was like i don't really know like what would look good for that I so think these are awesome yeah and then like the floor she directed us to a company to get the floors like just things like that was super yeah. helpful a lot of other things we just had like really strong vision ourselves of what we wanted so it was like a really cool collaborative experience. yeah it was a great collaboration um, if you guys need a designer in any capacity she's great yeah so we'll put her handle and you guys can reach out but let's go to the top floor which is our favorite place yes for this beautiful big window here it's like 10 feet tall yeah it's <laughs> huge it's a massive window that backs to the hillside, has such a pretty view. Stoked for the summer and hoping to see some cool animals back there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Love that. Okay. Let's okay, start. Yeah. It is snowing really, really good today. Okay, so this floor was actually always amazing because the view is literally the best part. 
but another thing that I actually used to love about this floor is the hardwood. It was hardwood up here, whereas the rest of the house was the carpet, and it was this beautiful old, like really narrow hardwood. I would have loved to mimic that downstairs, but you can't really, so we replaced it. You could at a very high cost, yeah. especially the stairs, because we have so many stairs yeah. that redoing the stairs in that kind of hardwood is yeah. very expensive. So we, we sadly um, opted for replacing, but we love these. They turned out beautiful. And then this area actually just used to be like a blank wall, and it's kind of like a funny shape of a room. So we were like, oh, what can we do with this? Because, you know, the fireplace was always here and we were like, we want to put the TV on the fireplace probably. So you're not really going to put like a couch or anything over here. There didn't used to be a window seat over no, here. No, right? it was just an open space. Yeah. So we thought that it would be really cool to turn this into sort of like a library feeling corner nook situation. Yep. So we had this vision to do uh, built-ins up to the top of the ceiling. Yep, so these are custom built-ins that our contractor did for us and they turned out unbelievable. Like yeah, such a well. statement and so, so worth it. Yeah, and I feel like it was a really good use of the space because we just didn't know, you know, what else to do with it. So we love how it turned out. We have all these shelves that we need to style that we've been having so much fun styling. You guys have seen in the vlogs. We're also thinking of putting like a rolling library ladder here just so we can reach the top of that. Yep. It's just like a beautiful statement piece that we feel like really works in yeah, here. Yeah, and a little statement would be cool. And then we're thinking like in at the holiday time, we'll probably put our Christmas tree like right here or right here. Yeah, Maybe right true, here. that could be cute right there. Yeah, it, could be really, it will like block that window a little bit, but yeah. I feel like that would be cute. That could be really nice. So yeah, we just want it to be like this cozy little corner for like reading and whatever. So we added this window seat and then these all pull out and there's more storage there. Of course, these are all storage, which is really nice. Tons of storage. We gotta get cushions for the benches, obviously. Yes, we're gonna get cushions for the benches. We need to put art here. We need to finish styling the shelves. I think we're gonna put like a little side table next to this chair, but we love how it's coming together. And then another major thing up here that changed, we smoothed out the ceiling because it used to be, what is that called? Tongue it was groove. tongue and groove ceilings and they used to just be wood stained. Yeah. Tongue and groove and then stained, all these beams were stained wood, a darker yeah. color. Which is like very classic cabin-y and you know, like it was actually really beautiful. Uh, it just wasn't our taste or what we wanted. We wanted it to feel like more bright and airy in here. So this is all the Swiss coffee color and it's smoothed out and we love the way that it turned out. We're so happy it's with it. It's beautiful. It's so airy up here, very light and refreshing space. Yeah. So happy with how it turned out for yeah. sure. And then this little like library area just flows into this living room area, which we are so happy with. We're obsessed with how this turned out. So the pillows and stuff, like the velvet pillows, anthropology, the striped one is really old. Target, Target one, those are vintage off of Etsy. Etsy yep. This chair is Crate and Barrel. McGee and Co. McGee and Co. This ball pillow, I love a ball pillow, you guys. I think they <laughs> make the cutest accent. This is from Anthropology. Okay, but then back to the living room. So we love the way that this turned out. It's super cozy and comfortable. This rug is from Rugs USA, right? Or Rugs Direct? Rugs Direct. Ooh. And it's a uh, amber interior one. Oh, nice. Which uh, they actually, her rugs, the production rugs actually are a good price. Not the vintage, vintage ones, rugs, but yeah. her production rugs have a good look to them and they're a good price. Link this for you guys. And then these are vintage stools that Clayton found online. And we got these from Norway. First dibs, uh, Belgium. Belgium. We love these, they are so cool. And then our coffee table, I think is- Burke decor. Burke decor. Still gotta get that sticker off, come on. <laughs> It's really hard to get all these. I things. know, it is. Um, and then there's like a lot of wood in the house already, so I wanted to get a black coffee table, and then I also love the texture cane. Mm -hmm. So we did that, and I'm so happy with it. We need to like style the top still a little bit more, but it's really cute where it's at too. Yep. And then couch is Lulu in Georgia, and it is the, I think it's called the Portola. 
slip yeah, cover. We'll link it for you guys in the description box. It's really comfortable. Very comfortable. We love the way it looks. We really wanted a big sectional in this room just so that it was really comfortable. So we did kind of make it like we'll show you guys over there. It gets a little bit awkward with the window seat, but it was worth the sacrifice to us yeah. because we wanted a big comfy couch for like hosting and just hanging out. Yeah. Uh, recently we had Delaney's family over and there was seven of us and we all fit on the couch and on that chair, you know, it was nice and comfortable. So that's why we went for the big couches so we could easily entertain. Yeah. Okay. And then the fireplace, like I said, has always been here. This is the original rock, but mm -hmm. it used to go all the way up. No, it was only that high, oh, no. but it, it used to not be, we drywalled that and put in the mantle. Okay. It had a different kind of look to it. And it was actually pretty cute, but yeah, the rock is yeah. original. But this like fits our style better. And then this is the frame TV. We have this back home. We've had them for years and we love them. Yeah. And then there's an art lamp over this one that we love. Uh, we'll try to link everything. I can't remember where everything is from, Yeah. but off the top of my head, but we'll try to find like emails and stuff and link everything that we can for you guys. And then over in this little corner of the built-in, there's like this firewood area. And then we have more shelves to style. I think we're gonna make this little corner maybe a little bar. Situation. Yeah, that'll be cute. Make, make a little cocktail, grab a little, a little whiskey. Cocktail. Okay, and then this is a really cool piece too. So we decided that we wanted a vintage door for our pantry. So before this just used to be like an old door. I don't even know if we have pictures of it, but inside it, of here yeah. used to be orange carpet. Oh my gosh, that's right. The or orange so shag random. carpet. I hope I have a video clip of that. But Clayton found this door online. It's vintage from Egypt. Yeah, and it's actually, so the old door was only about this tall, probably about this tall. So we raised it up, got a, that's like an eight foot door yeah. about. So it's really so nice. Cool. It makes it a little bit more grand. Yeah, we're really pretty. It. Yeah. Everyone who's come over has complimented the door. Like it's, <laughs> a, it's a statement. It's definitely a statement. So it was so worth it. And then that's just our little pantry in there. Yeah, and they, good the storage. The contractor um, added the shelves and everything. Clayton like, designed the shelves, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Vacuum. Yeah, Perfect. it's funny when you're like designing shelves like that, yeah. you know, you're like, oh, I want these heights and then you do them and you're like, oh crap, why did yeah. I do those heights? It's perfect. So. Oh, also this light picture, we'll try to link for you guys. We love this chandelier. Yep, that's from, it's called Vacker Lighting. I think we got a, a few pieces from Vacker, a few from Etsy, and actually a few from Chloe's uh, company, Boxwood Avenue. Yeah. Or Boxwood Mercantile is her shop. Yeah, and then if you guys saw in the other vlog, we just thrifted this piece as well. So we thought about having a console table here or a bench. We were kind of going back and forth. And then the other day we were at this little local thrift store and I didn't even notice the table because it was covered in like books and art and everything. And Clayton was like, wait, this table is so cool. And then I was like, wait, that is awesome. And it fits perfectly. Yeah, it's perfect. So, we're so if you guys have been watching our vlogs, we were having some issues with console tables being too tall or not sure about the color. And this one is the perfect height. I love that it's a little bit shorter than the couch. I love the detail um, on it. Yeah. Like it's, we love these that it's vintage. Giant, look at these giant turned wood legs. And then the, who we bought it from actually put this back leg on it and it's actually a really nice touch. So yeah, it turned it out amazing. So cute. We need to style it more, but we are obsessed. I think if we wanted to even, we could add like two little poofs yeah. under it. Like if you wanted a little, like those, not those, but like Little square square ones, ones would be really be cool. Cute. Yeah. Okay, and then the area where it gets kind of funky is because we wanted the sectional, we kind of had to like push it up against this window seat, which we're going to add a cushion here as well. Yeah. But like we said, this was just like a little bit of a sacrifice and like a working point that we were like, okay, that's, we prefer to have the sectional, so we'll just like semi block that. But you can yeah. still totally like get in here and hang out. Yeah. And all good. It's still, it's kind of cozy. It's like a little yeah. tuck spot. Yeah, we love it. Okay, and then this is our dining area. And I have to say, this is like one of my favorite focal points in the whole house. Yeah. I'm it's so obsessed with this area. Really cool looking, really pretty. Loved all the furniture. Yeah, I love the way it turned out. So before this used to have like a little branchy 
chandelier, the ceiling for obviously that brown wood and everything. And it just looks so much like brighter and airier here and I love it. And I really, really wanted a lamp like this mm -hmm. for here. I feel like it's just fun and quirky and I am obsessed with how it turned out. We got that off Etsy. It was actually pretty affordable, I think. Yeah. And then the table, this is from CB2. It's burl wood and I love that it has like these little checkers. It adds some really nice texture and it fits six people beautifully. So we're so happy with that. And then the chairs, oh, I need to dust these. Yeah, wow, holy, holy crap. Okay, that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're still a little bit in construction, so I hope you're with us. Um, but these I think we got off of eBay or something. Wayfair. Or Wayfair, we'll link them for you guys. The rug is restoration, no. Architectural uh, Digest. Architectural Digest. X. <laughs> Ruggable. There we go. And a couple of people have mentioned, oh, your rug should be bigger or whatever, which I totally get where you guys are coming from. But the thing is, the, the shape of this room and where our pendant is, the rug is like the right size like this so that the table can be in the middle of the rug and also under the pendant and like in the middle of this yeah. room kind of. So I know that some people like think that it should be bigger. We like the size that it is and that's our reason. So hopefully if we, uh, if we went bigger, it would just take up too much. It would eat into the kitchen the next size. Yeah. It, so we kind of just feel like it's perfect. It would go towards like the bar stools yeah. and then the bar stools would be half on it. I don't know. I, we love the size of it. So I know some people don't, but we like it. So. <laughs> That's good. Last but not least is our cute little kitchen. These bar stools are not staying. No. Nope. And then we put the beadboard here. Yeah, we did this little back piece beadboard as a little detail and these corbels to help uh, hold the overhang. Yeah. And it turned out really and then cute. there's a little bit of storage. We got a secret door back there. Which is perfect. And then our kitchen, you guys, the way that it used to look, it was, the kitchen was in rough condition. Like some of the drawers were had like holes next to them. And it was just, it was like a very dated kitchen. I actually mm -hmm. kind of liked it. I was, it was like, quite, it was like into the kitchen. Yeah. But we love the way that it turned out. But it, you know, it just had these like old cabinets, whatever. So what we did is pretty much everything in the kitchen. Yeah, complete redo of the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, so I have dreamed of having black and white tile floors like this in a kitchen for so long. So we actually need to get them like touched up because yeah. they didn't get sealed. They're not gonna be shiny or anything. We like that they're matte, um, but they're just, they didn't get sealed. So we have to like redo that part and get them sealed. Yeah, so these are from Zia Tile. They are concrete tiles. So you have to seal them when they're done. This is the bone color from Zia. And then this is just, I believe they call black. Mm -hmm. So Love it. it's a little off-white creamy of the bone color. And then our countertops, we replaced the old countertops were uh, laminate. Laminate? Yeah, yeah wood remember. laminate. So this is quartzite and it's in the shade or whatever you want to call it, Taj Mahal. Yeah, and I believe we got them honed, but I can't remember what we did. But What does honed mean? So there's honed, polished, and then there's one other one. Semi-honed or something? Yeah, and I think we got the one where it's not like super bright, but it's yeah, yeah kind they, of shiny. Yeah, yeah, I think you're yeah, right. Like the middle uh, one. But we love the way that this turned out. We were really nervous picking out our countertops because yeah. we've never like picked out a countertop and we were just like, what's it gonna look like? And you know, you get like all different pieces of stone or whatever. So that was also like a really nice uh, touch point to have our designer because we were like, do you think that this would look good? And she's like, I definitely do. So that reassurance was amazing. Yep. Um, and the edges, this is called an OG detail I love on that. the edge, which makes it look just a little bit more detailed yeah, instead of just that. the solid edge. And then our cabinets are also that Swiss coffee 75% and our hardware on them, I forget where it's from. We will try to link our exact hardware or similar for you guys in the description box. And that is the brass or whatever. Right? Yeah, aged brass. Aged brass. And then our stove, we had to have a electric stove because there's not gas here. So we got this from the brand Big Chill. Big Chill. It was definitely a splurge. It was. But we, again, this has been a dream of ours to have a stove that looks like this. So yeah. we are very happy with it. We're so and happy it's. With it. My grandma gave me this little um, dish towel and she said, put it yeah. on your stove. And then we really wanted to have this little like design feature of the other piece of quartzite up here with this little. The shelf with the, the brass rail. A rail. 
Yeah, and then this was. So an, we'll we'll style this and like put stuff back there. It is really like narrow, so we have to find things that fit, like a picture frame, little little yeah. knickknacks or whatever. But we'll definitely style that in the future. Yep, and then this was another detail that we chose. It's this little hood detail with some molding that allows for a shelf. And right now we have that piece of art up there, but that art will probably change out. But it's cool to be able to you know have a little thing up there to style as well. Yeah. And then our sink is a farmhouse sink, right? Yep. And the brass fixtures. Really cute brass fixtures. These are from Deval Kitchen. We had a spray, filter tap, and then the tap itself. We're gonna add a little cafe curtain here on this window, maybe something like lace, lacy or like ditzy floral, something, I don't know, something fun. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our dishwasher. Little girl. Cute little dishy girl. And then this is our fridge. There's gonna be a cabinet up there, but the door's not ready yet. Yep. And then this is our freezer. Yeah. And we also put this art lamp here. We'll put a little piece of art and yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay guys, that is it for this version of our home tour. There'll be more decorating to come. Yes, hope you guys loved it. We think it turned out amazing. We're super excited and stoked for all the changes and everything that happened, so. Yes. Really cool. I wanna say, if you guys have any questions about materials, uh, anything like that that we maybe didn't mention or you didn't catch, feel free to comment and we can get back to you guys. So. Yes, sorry we've been a little behind on that. We've just been like trying to move in and decorate and everything, but we try to mention as much as we could remember. And we'll try to get back to commenting and we're just like so excited about this journey and yeah. so grateful to have all of you guys here supporting us and joining our journey and go us for doing yes. our first remodel project. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> Thanks for okay. joining.